So this is part two of my haul video. I'll link part one below, which is all of the clothing and accessory stuff. So if you've come straight from that video, then hi. And if you've not watched that, then I'll link it below so you can watch it after this. But this is all of the beauty things which I bought recently. Um, I'll start off with this, because it was closest to me. This is the NARS um, At First Sight palette. I actually got this in a blog sale, and I don't think I've ever bought from a blog sale before. I'm not really sure. Um, but the person I bought it off had literally only used it once for the swatches and I really like the shades that were in it. It's got the, um, what blush is that one? Um, it doesn't say but I think this is called the Deep Throat Blush and this is Laguna Bronzer and I really wanted to try Laguna. And it's got four really nice neutral eyeshadow shades in it with a purple too which I think is always nice to have some brighter colours which you can wear. and just brighten up a look because it's quite boring just wearing browns and golds and that sort of thing the whole time so I'm really happy with this I've been really liking it recently and it's got such nice packaging with a really big mirror so perfect for traveling I got these three Becca eyeshadows from Fragrance Direct they've got them on there for I'm not sure how much it is but it's under three pounds each which is such a bargain because I think they're meant to be around I'm probably making this up but around 18 pounds they're quite a bit more expensive than the MAC ones um, and last time I checked they did have quite a few shades left. I got these three ones, there's a kind of a pinky one, a greeny one and a purpley one which as I was saying it's nice to have some different coloured eyeshadows instead of just the boring browns and golds. I've not actually used the pink one yet, I've just used it for swatching but I've used this green one quite a lot. The green one's called Chintz and um, I'm thinking of getting MAC Sumptuous Olive because I think that would look so nice with this um, green colour. Um, just kind of blended out in the crease and yes I've been really really liking this and the lilac -y one is quite nice with the purpley one from this NARS palette so all in all I've got loads of new eyeshadow looks to play with with all of these different colours and I'd recommend if you look on there just looking at the Becca eyeshadows because they're so well pigmented and for around £3 each it's such good value for money and the packaging for them is really really nice as well I've got two MAC quads and I don't know which colours I've shown before and which I haven't so I thought I'd just show both of them because I've kind of swapped the colours around a little bit. Um, I don't have a colour for this one but I'm going to pop Sumptuous Olive in there once I've got it. Um, so the colours I have is, um, can you see, wait if I lift the lid you'll be able to see. Um, I've got Shroom Club. I think that's patina. This one here is the tan loose pigment which I've actually pressed into a solid pan form which I filmed a video of and I don't know when I'll upload that but that will be uploaded soon a little tutorial of how to press the loose pigments and then these ones in here I think I've probably shown before that's night which is an old one um, and that's all that glitters and wood winked but it's really nice having them in quads because you can make your own little quad of each colours instead of having a big 15 palette where there's just so many and I'll probably just stick to using the same colours over and over again and not giving all the rest of them some use. So I've been really really liking my MAC eyeshadows recently. If you've got any favourite colours please let me know below because I want to move on to my third quad and build up another little collection of them. After finally using up a massive, massive bottle of the Tresemme hairspray, I bought the L'Oreal Elnet Satin, um, and it's the very volume one with Pro Keratin. I don't really know what that is, but I think keratin's meant to like rebuild your hair. You may have just seen that on a random advert, but I love the packaging for this. It's gold and pink, which are two very nice colours, and I've not even used this barely, but yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I just got another one of the Batiste dry shampoo in the dark brown colour. I go through this stuff all the time. I love Batiste dry shampoo. I have to get the dark brown one because my hair's really dark. So if I don't, then my hair literally just goes grey and it is not a good look. I got the um, La Roche Posay Effeclar Duo Plus. I had just been using the normal Effeclar Duo, but that ran out and this one had just been released. So I thought I would give this one a go. Um, I haven't noticed any difference at all compared to the normal duo but yeah I really like this product and last but not least is the L'Oreal 3-in-1 um, purifying micellar solution um, I've had this for a few weeks now I just used this to take my makeup off before using the Emma Hardy um, cleansing balm to properly get my makeup off this is just so I don't have to use as much of the cleanser because it's around 30 odd pounds a pot which is quite expensive 
and I quite like this just to take my mascara and everything off too, it does a really good job. I want to try the Garnier one next because lots of people have been saying that that one's even better and it's even better value for money. So if you've got a preference please tell me which one you prefer because everyone seems to say something different and I'm not quite sure which one seems to be better. So that was all of the beauty things I've bought. I haven't been too crazy with the makeup recently, I've just kind of been sticking to what I've been wearing normally but just with a few different eyeshadow thrown in really. Um, if you've got anything exciting let me know because I'm always on the lookout for new products. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!